Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please click the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So we're on day five of my 25 days of Christmas nail sets and today I'm featuring Evelyn, my red iguana practice hand and she'll pop in from time to time because I do like to wear my nails throughout the week. Um, so obviously if I have nails on, I can't, you know, uh, you know, do my do my own nails. So for today's set, I am doing a poly gel set on Evelyn, and it's been a while since I've used her and just wanted to try it again because um, I paid a pretty penny for her, so I feel like I should utilize her, and I'm gonna try it in the video today. But I'm using this poly gel 1611 from McCart's Seasonal Concertos kit. They brought this out a few years ago, and I'm using 1612 from that same kit. Um, I love the colors in that, that kit. In particular, they were like pastels. Very nice. I think it came with like like 12 or 14 different shades. A lot of shades. And I do believe they still sell it on their website. I will go ahead and link that down below if I can find it. Right now, I'm using base gel over the tips that I placed on Evelyn. And the tips I'm using today are McCart's XXL Stilettos. And I just cut the tip off to make it into a very tapered coffin or ballerina shape which i really like so i want to try that on myself with these same tips just basically cutting off the number to bring that in a bit and i loved it so i'm starting in with a poly gel application and i'm using 16 i believe 11 the lighter shade so this is like a milky white shade and i'm gonna go ahead and do my 2d method on evelyn with this shade what i normally do is just pack the poly gel all over the nail um and then go back in and smooth everything out today i'm using 91 percent alcohol as my flip solution so both my index and pinky are going to be used with this off-white shade and then the two middle nails i'm going to do in a nude shade the other uh, shade I did choose from that particular kit. If you hear a lot of noise in my background, it's just because the house is really busy right now. And I'm trying to get this video uploaded tonight. <laughs> and I'm really late on the voiceover being that I'm doing this day to day. Um, so yeah, excuse any noise. We're just having a good time winding down and getting ready for the next day. Again, I'm using the 2B method. And with Evelyn, I'm not going to worry too much about an apex or anything like that. Um, because it's a practice hand and it's coming off anyways. Um, so the nails might look a bit flat and it's just because it's Evelyn. And not to say she's not worthy of an ex apex. It's just I didn't feel like putting in a lot of that extra work. But I am showing the basis to a poly gel application. Besides the fact that you do want to go ahead and make sure you're giving yourself a really nice apex. Once I get uh, the first bead set on them, I cured for 30 seconds. Now I'm going in with that second bead, and once I get it how I would like, I cure that again for 30 seconds. Now I'm going in with that tan shade that I spoke about, and I love this color. It's so nice, such a perfect, like, nail bed shade, like, good for fringes, ombres. This is such a beautiful shade. I absolutely fell in love with this when I saw it on uh, Evelyn. I hope everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you may be. And as always, I'm going to take my time just to show my thanks to anyone who takes their time to watch my videos. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Nail Addict family, and I thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. And if you've been subscribed, I love you guys so, so much.
So once my nails are built up and uh, cured, I file shaped and buffed off camera. And now I'm going in with a layer of matte top coat because these are going to be matte nails. Once I get the matte on, I cure that for 30 seconds as well. So now I'm going in on the index and all of the nails will be like a sweater type design, but I'm using, um, I forget what color I'm using. I know it's a Madame Glam polish, but I really can't remember. <laughs> but if I remember, I'll link it down below. But I'm going in with this lighter shade on the, um, like, milky white nails. And I'm going to create, like, a sweater effect here. Um, I do it in two different layers. So the first set of lines I place down and the dots, I go ahead and use my clear acrylic and go over that and cure that. And then I'll go back on the same one after cleaning it up a bit with the other portion of the design. And I loved how all of these nails came out. They came out so beautiful. I did such a great job. And this was a set that I wish I had done it myself. It was just absolutely gorgeous. So on the middle finger, I am going in with that same shade and I'm gonna just create a really big half half snowflake on this now. Uh, this design was so nice, so neat. This uh, snowflake came out absolutely beautiful. And again, this is a different style of a snowflake than the ones I've previously done in other videos. I just love snowflake designs because there's so many different options that you can choose from when doing them which makes it all the more unique so even though we're in winter and we're going to see a lot of different snowflake designs they can all be different and very unique and i love that The next design, I'm just doing a bunch of dots and diagonal lines and like the crisscross like circles um, all the way up this nail until I can't go anymore. And this by far, I would say was my favorite nail uh, because all of the design on this one came out really, really nice. Um, and then when you add that acrylic, it just gives it the right touch. So my last video, I stated when you pour over the clear acrylic, you want to just cure it for a few seconds. You shouldn't do like a full 30 seconds. I just learned that. Um, I did not learn that before doing this video. So I did do full cures. Um, and you may see a little bit of cloudiness or extra like dust at the end. Even though I've cleaned them off so many times. And that's from over curing. But the design came out really, really nice. And for the last one, I am going in again with a small little snowflake at the top and then I'll add in some extras towards the bottom to complete this set. I do try to clean my hand up as much as possible and I apply some cuticle oil to her off camera and I'll be back in just a moment with the final look. The 
before I go, if anyone has a red iguana practice hand, how do you clean it? Like I did it with like mild soap and water. I've did everything and she's always very dusty from like me filing and shaping. So just comment down below and let me know if you have one. And here is the finished set. Y'all, this is so freaking cute. I love them so, so much. So like my, my pinky there had a bit of dust and then I realized as I was recording this so the next clip you'll see where I kind of wiped it off so you can see the design a bit more uh, but I do overall really love how this set came out it came out really really nice I love how tapered those tips were after cutting off the tip of the stiletto super nice I definitely want these on my hand with this same like pinchedness it's just absolutely perfect if you made it this far, please do not forget to go ahead and make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, also hit your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. Also, I was thinking, if you guys wanted to see anything in particular for this Christmas, uh, 25 days of Christmas, you can comment on this video and let me know. Right now, I do have two more videos for this week already done. And I will be working on my video for Thursday and Friday tomorrow. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, if there's anything you want to see, don't be afraid to comment down below and let me know. And I can try and squeeze that into my 25 days of Christmas. And it'll just make it a little bit more fun and personable for us all. I appreciate anyone that is still here with me in this video watching today. I thank you guys so, so much. You're so appreciated. I... Remember to be the best you you can be, and much love to you all.